we, I'm, I'm actually very excited. Um, the airport commission is probably the one of the best that we've had. Um, it's been a long time coming to really get ourselves on a stable path for growth. Um, I think the support really has only grown um, for what the airport is doing. And we have a lot of exciting uh, projects in the future. I think we want to both stabilize the airport, um, get some construction projects and some maintenance programs underway, uh, but also plan for the future. This is um, really a, a centerpiece of the economic development strategy and the support uh, that was demonstrated through a survey the chamber did a few years ago something that we want to continue to build upon. So what we really need to do is we really need to put a, together a team in place uh, to facilitate that kind of development. That includes both um, shoring up and appointing and reappointing um, airport commission members, getting a, a really great interim um, airport manager on board, and we're working towards um, the process of hiring a permanent manager. But it also means working very closely with the state. And I know that these uh, individuals have been out here before, but I think we have some um, you know, pretty exciting projects that we're doing here, but also transportation is really at the forefront of everyone's mind at the state level. A lot of attention is being paid to roads and bridges. Uh, we certainly love those as well, but as uh, um, even though this is called the municipal airport, this has really demonstrated that it's, it's part of a regional economic development strategy, and we want to make sure that um, airports like this are part of the state plan. And uh, that's where Secretary Davey and his team come in. Um, they want to see firsthand and, and get out of the office and actually see what's going on in local communities. Um, and he can certainly tell you about his his full day of travels and what he's seen here today. So, what have you seen here today? Well, two things. So, uh, my team and I uh, actually visited Orange on the display airport uh, this morning and then came over here this Friday this afternoon. For two things. One, um, we're actually doing business. Uh, our uh, aviation manager that we're in is out inspecting the, uh, the airport pavement quality right now. That's what we do on an annual basis for all the airports um, in the state. So it's a safety oversight function uh, that we perform. An important one. Uh, we've got great partners uh, like we do here in Fitchburg in that regard. Uh, and then secondly, for me to personally come out um, and see uh, what's going on in our We've talked to the mayor, said a lot about roads, bridges, highway system, transit, the T, MART, um, but we don't talk often enough about the important economic development impact that our airports have in the Commonwealth. Um, over 125,000 jobs are directly or indirectly related to aviation here in Massachusetts, almost uh, $13 billion um, in economic activity, again, both directly and indirectly. That's significant. One of the pieces of Governor Patrick's um, transportation program um, was to make investments in airports like this. And so whether it's, uh, while this terminal building is uh, cozy, um, it's certainly uh, overdue for, uh, for an overhaul, if not a new one. There's some airport projects, both uh, runway, taxiway, safety, uh, that need to happen over the next couple of years. And we're working with the mayor and the commission uh, to make some uh, state investments in that regard. So, uh, getting that first-hand look, and then getting the chicken salad, which I'm so excited about, um, <laughs> as well. That's why I'm here today. <laughs> this is the Fitchburg Municipal Airport on the grounds of the city of Fitchburg, and uh, uh, the, I've spoken with city council members, and I've spoken with the mayor, and they're really getting behind the airport. But uh, this is this this is isn't just an isolated community. It's Lemonster, there's Bloomberg, and there's Shirley, and and. and with Mass DOT getting Mass DOT involved in it, it just it's 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 getting the entire community, the entire Tri Town area, if you will, uh, in, in, involved in, in the future of aviation and the benefit of aviation. Not a lot of people understand that aren't pilots; they don't understand uh, what benefit an airport has to uh, uh, a, a community. And we're really looking forward to uh, to getting the word out. To the airport, uh, specifically a new terminal building. Uh, the state has put together a, a statewide terminal building program um, <clears throat> that uh, hopefully we'll be, able, we'll be able to take advantage of. And uh, uh, certainly, a new terminal building will be the be a new gateway to the city of Fitchburg. So uh, that's the, uh, the one project that I have the most interest in right now, and uh, hopefully, we'll be able to wrap our arms around.
from the Minnesota Commission and now the DOT um, step up and provide some state capital funds for airports. As I was talking earlier, uh, under Governor Patrick's leadership, uh, we've gone from a $9 million program to a $15 million program across the state. Uh, again, with 36 airports to invest in, though, that money uh, it needs to go a long way. Um, we've been very much focused on the safety aspects of our airports, uh, markings, taxiway markings, for example, making sure pilots can actually see uh, the striping the lines, uh, some apron and some uh, uh, craft and sealant uh, work, again, to make sure that the taxiways and the themselves are um, safe. But not just doing that catch-up maintenance, but actually thinking about, I think as the mayor said, how can we use the airports as real economic gateways uh, for improvements for cities and towns across the state? And so uh, that's really what today was about, to see what, um, and I guess remind myself, Chris, and our team that uh, you know, we have a lot of work to do together with the legislature uh, to make the kinds of investments in transportation all across the state. I also have a commitment that I want to visit every airport in the state um, uh, for the governor's office uh, on his behalf. And so I think uh, today marks about my halfway uh, point uh, on that journey. So, um, you know, again, making sure on his behalf that we're governing statewide and not just thinking about a particular <coughs> region of the state, which is traditionally the Boston area.